Somebody's asked me how I use my pendulums. So I thought I'd come on here and just show you what I do. These are some of the lovely ones I've got in stock at the moment. So I'm just using one of these. So this is the way I do it. You might do it a different way and that's absolutely okay. We've all got different practices. We've all got different ways of doing things and that's okay. So if you prefer a different way, you carry on doing your way. For, but for any of you that have not used them before or don't know how to use them or have always wondered how, this is how I do this for myself. So I hold the pendulum just loosely <clears throat> and I always put my hand underneath it. It was the way I was shown once and it just feels right for me. So I will, I want to get to know what my yes and no is. And if I've not used the pendulum for a while, I will, I will go back to ask. Even though I know that my yes is normally going round and my no is going backwards and forwards. But I will always sit and ask if I haven't used one for a while. So it, am I a woman? So just ask it a normal question that you know the answer is yes, right? So straight away, this is very responsive, this one. It's going around in a circle. So I now know this pendulum is going to tell me a circle for an answer of yes. Okay, am I a man? Okay, it's responded very quickly and you can see it's going backwards and forwards. So I now know that my this if I ask this a question, that my yes is a circle and my no is going backwards and forwards. Now this res this pendulum has responded really quickly in here. I'm in my cabin, it's very spiritual in here. I'm feeling balanced, I've just had a Reiki client, so I'm feeling really in tune with my guides. If it if you try this and it's not very responsive, don't give up. Um, it just means you need to sit there in balance. You it might be taking longer, it might be, you know, the balance might need to build. The, your guides around you might need to build, to build up for a time. Um, you can now ask it any question and you do it the same way. So you just would, again, put your hand underneath and ask whatever question you want to ask. You can do that in your mind. You can do that out loud um, and just ask and see what answer comes to you. So and have fun with it. Um, I think that was all I was going to say. But I'd love to hear if you've used a pendulum, if you love using them, if you haven't used one before or if you've used them and you have given up and you haven't um carried on with it but it's it's a really nice way to get a bit of insight sometimes sometimes when we're um in a bit of a crossroads where we're thinking oh you know what what do i want to i want a bit of a spiritual answer to help me with the answer that i probably already deep down know the answer to but um, make sure you're in balance with this make sure you've not got the television blaring just sit in a quiet place and enjoy your pendulum um, and let me know uh, what experiences you've had with these because I'd love to know. Anyway, have a fabulous day.